Hello everyone, how's it going to you? guys doing good too? I'm doing good too. So in today's video session, I'll be showing, as promised, the Nintendo Switch Pro photos, what it actually can look like. This is pretty interesting. So I gathered all the images from different websites, as much as I can find. This is what is available so far. It tells the pictures. It looks really, really nice. I'll be honest with you. So, so this is very interesting to see what this system can really look like. The most important part of this thing is that this system will be coming in early 2021. As I said, yeah, it won't be coming in early 2021. As it, they'll be keeping the current system for a few years because they don't need to just release this system straight away. I'm afraid. So don't have, don't get too excited about it that you're gonna get this system very soon. You won't get this very soon at all it's gonna take a bit of long time because the the system we got right now is selling really well and the sales are really strong in it so there's no point just getting rid of the system we got right now till the sales are pretty strong on it when it starts going down that's the time they need to release another system because already when the Sony PS5 and Microsoft Xbox Series X were launched they could have beat it they could have been a three-year-old system so this is telling you that the Nintendo Switch is still a strong position They are not going to be able to beat that system very soon. Yeah, it's going to take time to beat it. Because if you ever look at the games they're releasing, the tech the switch we took about here, they're releasing really, really good stuff on it. Um, from even from December, yeah, yeah, even this month. Honestly, yeah, this month's finished now, isn't it? Yeah. We could talk about from January 2021 and onwards. There is really good stuff. You could check it on your Google yourself. What kind of games they're releasing from, from January, from the April 2021, or January, February, March, whatever. Just check out some games that that coming out this each of this month. There's a lot of stuff are coming on this system. Don't think the system's out of day again because it isn't. So it's pretty good. It's doing really well and it's really strong in sales. Nintendo has a very strong lineup of games on the present in the Switch we got right now, which is really good news. So anyway. Even that system's coming in a few years' time. Let's watch the photos on it, what it could look like, and just get excited for that time. Here we go. So take a look at this. This is why the color is going to be using. It's like black and blue or something like that. You could tell these controllers are changing. Look at that. 
because I'm coloring them. They look absolutely amazing. Well, well, they did say it's blue. But looking at it, it looks like purple. <laughs> it doesn't look like that. It. Maybe it's light blue or something like that. Article Sega is blue, but here it looks like. Well, it can be blue as well, isn't it? This is like an idea that it could be this kind of color as well. So there's the controllers. They look newly designed. They redesigned the game. It looks very curvy for the bottom. Both the sides, and this is the device at the middle. They all got the same kind of colors in it, the device and the controller. So enjoy the image. Next image. So this thing right here, as we can see, is a docking station, isn't it? But for your cards, not for the system. And it says Nintendo Switch Pro on it. You can see, can't you? These two ports can be for the control pads. But I'm thinking, how can you get is it that switch in there? I have no clue because there's no space for it. This is a multi card technology. Look, you could put so many game cards in there. Check that out. Aha! Can you see what's going on? It seems to me they've changed the technology. You know what they've done? Now, they're not using the Nintendo Switch console anymore. The picture's telling you that. Right? What you just do, you just put a game card in there straight away. Wow, looking for the picture is showing you that. So you just put a game card in there and the game will just come out straight away. From the game card. So the game card goes into this docking station. Check it out. And the games will come on. You could have four game cards in there. Well, there's one at the end. That might be for the memory card. Something like that. Because it's smaller, isn't it? That might be the memory card. And now, you don't need to put the Nintendo Switch in there. Well, that looks pretty interesting now, doesn't it? Because as you can see the Nintendo Switch was like 720p HD. I even heard the new ones are the same resolution. It's really weird, isn't it? When you uh, connect the docking station to the TV, that's 4K, okay? The system is not 4K, alright? The system is not 4K, by the way. It's still 720p HD, alright? So only when you use the docking station to the TV, that's in just 4K, okay? So enjoy the image. Next image. Now you can tell 
I think it's light blue, isn't it? It is light blue. Take a look at this. It has a very beautiful stand at the back. Look at that, say Nintendo. Switch Axel. You see, they're going to release two of them. Nintendo Switch XL and Nintendo Switch Pro. The one they showing you this image is Nintendo Switch XL. Mostly when they are XL, the screen is pretty large. You can tell the system looks pretty big, isn't it? But we don't know the screen size, do we? That's the stand. The stand looks really nice. And that's the device. Take a look at that. Alright. I can't confirm what kind of bonds of these are, but you could look at it for yourself. In this image, the colors changed. The style looks more beautiful than the previous one. So enjoy the image. Next image. All right, this is a really trusty color. You think that uh, why is it two displays? If you look at in here, this is the Nintendo Switch. Probably where we're gonna call it. Here you got the 720p HD. Also the top will be the same as well. You know this screen. At the top, if I'm not wrong, this might be the mini LED display. Yeah, it's showing two displays here. Whew. Well, you got two displays this time around. It's not one, is it? And it's fixed. You can tell from this hinge. You look here, right to the middle. Look at that. It's fixed to the switch and the screen at the top. So you get the original screen at the bottom and then you get the mini LED display at the top. Really interesting. Looks really nice. That's why he's made. So there's two displays on the Nintendo company is taking up and then there is a Nintendo Switch Pro. Enjoy the image. Next image. Wow. Okay, it says here Nintendo Switch. This is all to do with Nintendo Switch Pro. You can tell the looks are all changed, isn't it? These are the redesigned G Con game controllers. Okay, which they look really nice, and this is the new device, the Nintendo Switch, a new color. The screen looks like square shape this time, and it looks pretty big. He's increased the size, and now it is as we talked about. Here the dock station is a multi-card technology where you can put a lot of game cards. Look at this picture, there's four game cards. Right at the back can be a well, memory card. I think this time around you won't be needing a Nintendo Switch in there. He's actually going to go. I think that's really good. We don't need to put a Nintendo Switch in there really, really. Because all we just need the game card. I think this is a really good idea. He's actually made the thing more interesting than the previously. It's better off we get away from the docking station putting the detective switch in there. He's actually done that. So they removed it. Well done. So enjoy the video.
Alright, next to it. AI is like powered on with a gray light on. See, you can see here it's a multi card talk station. Card one, card two, card three, card four. I wonder what that is. It doesn't seem to look like a memory card to me, but it can be. It's gotta be a memory card anyway. Because what they're doing this time, because because the Nintendo Switch has got a memory card another day to save data. But that's inside the system, isn't it? But they're not putting the system anymore in there. So this is definitely has to be the memory card. What they're just doing, they're using a stock station to play these games on TV now. Which is, to me, is really good. I wonder if we could just buy the dock station on its own. Or it's bundled with the machine. Right, that, because like, if we could just buy this dock station on its own, we could probably Nintendo Switch on TV. Without the system. Because I think they are not using the Nintendo Switch Pro game console to connect to the TV anymore. They don't use that anymore. They're using this docking station to connect to the TV. Even here, if I'm not wrong, they use two control ports on there at the front. You could put two controllers. This is just like having a games console, isn't it? <laughs> it's amazing, isn't it? It's like a full machine in there. This is like the a very powerful device, right? That you connect to your TV. This is the thing, right? Is going to be 4K. Do you understand? So this thing is going to be 4K. So this thing connected to the TV is 4K, and the Nintendo Switch on is always going to be 720p HD. So they separated. Two of these devices, your Nintendo Switch is now a part of your hands and tabletop. I don't think it will be connected to the TV anymore. But this thing connects to the television. I think it's really good. The reason it did that, this was the way to make a very high powered 4K high definition graphics. That's why it's been separated because using the console maybe it doesn't let you do that so anyway enjoy the image next image okay that's it so all the images have been covered let's yeah, put the beautiful Nintendo Switch Pro on the screen so now you've seen all the images of the Nintendo Switch Pro what it could actually look like from the images now you got a, the look of the new system called Nintendo Switch XL and Nintendo Switch Pro whatever which one they're showing in these images the actual thing looks really good it seems to be they kept the Nintendo Switch Pro like a handheld and tabletop but not TV they use it that docking station right 
to connect to a TV, which will be the Nintendo Switch Pro will be still be 720p HD on the screen, and the docking station will be in 4K high definition graphics. Now we understand what is going on. First, I thought the system display is going to be 4K, but now eventually it won't be. It will be the same as the system we have right now on screen. But instead of that, we've got two displays. The original one at the bottom and a mini LED display at the top. Okay. I wonder if he's using the dual screen again. <laughs> Cause it's got like two screens on the game, hasn't it? It might be that the mini LED display, right, is the screen we are using for to play the games. Yeah. And the bottom screen is, might be the thing for the icons and the maps. Like we just had a Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS. It can be a similar thing to that. I think the thing looks really amazing. So he's brought back the dual screen again, it seems to be. This thing looks really high power this time. It's not like the Nintendo DS and Nintendo 3DS anymore. This looks really interesting now. This looks like a real competitor against the Sony PS5 and Microsoft Xbox Series X. So this will be a very interesting thing to look out for. But right now, Nintendo Switch, the, the one we got right now, is going to stay for for some time. It's been said that it will stay for at least three years. That's why I've been reading in terms of the articles. Few of the sources have been saying that the Nintendo Switch will stay for at least three years. Alright. That is pretty a long time. You're not going to get this thing very soon. Because I, I reckon this system in like January 2021, I think it's just development. It's just in, under development. It's not gonna, it's not gonna just come around like one, two months, is it? Because it's under development. It's got a lot of hard work to do. And these mini LED displays are new, aren't they? They probably have to get their hands on this thing. They don't, we don't even know when they can get their hands on this thing. They are already released, to I announced in October 2019, in terms of the televisions. But it depends on this display, if it's available. At this size, is it? So anyway. I hope you guys enjoyed my video session today. And now you got the you see the look on Nintendo Switch XL and Nintendo Switch Pro from the photos. Give me likes, cross screen. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.